Flying foxes are literally dropping from the skies with exhaustion in our extreme heat. It's happening all over the southeast in such large proportions, wildlife carers are struggling to keep up. On the edges of Terrors Creek, residents are in terror. A colony of flying foxes dropping to the ground one by one since Saturday, dying from the extreme heat. This home video taken by a resident. And this is just some footage of the massive bat carnage from yesterday's 40 plus heat wave. It's estimated around a thousand fell at this Debra property alone. Conservationists have come to tally them for research. It's likely that we've lost most of the young in some camps. Love them or loathe them, they're vital to our ecosystem. Moreton Bay Council dropped property owner Murray past some wheelie bins but urged him not to touch the bats. He was still waiting on help from council with the clean-up this afternoon. So many around that I don't know how long it's going to take to clean up the mess. It could be weeks. The property is right next to a creek which feeds into North Pine Dam. SEQ Water says it's not a concern. The water is treated to make sure it's safe to drink. The stench is overwhelming. It's so strong it's making our eyes sting and it won't go away quickly. We can't sort of sit outside and have a coffee because the, the waft of, of death is, is there. It's not just in the Morton Council area. Bats have died right across the southeast corner. Wildlife carers have been inundated trying to save the young and those in distress. Anyone with dead flying foxes in their yard should call their local council. I don't know what, what else I can do. Ebony Cavallaro, Nine News.